Song of Solomon, Chapter 4 The Man You're so beautiful, my darling, so beautiful, and your dove eyes are veiled by your hair as it's flowing and shimmers like a flock of goats in the distance streaming down a hillside in the sunshine. Your smile is generous and full, expressive and strong and clean. Your lips are jewel red, your mouth elegant and inviting, your veiled cheek soft and radiant. The smooth white lines of your neck command notice. All heads turn in awe and admiration. Your breasts are like fawns, twins of a gazelle, grazing among the first spring flowers. The sweet, favorite curves of your body, so soft, spiced contours of your flesh invite me, and I come. I stay until dawn breathes its light and night slips away. You're beautiful from head to toe, my dear love. Beautiful beyond compare, absolutely flawless. Come with me from Lebanon, my bride. Leave Lebanon behind and come. Leave your high mountains hideaway. Abandon your wilderness seduction. Where you keep company with lions and panthers guard your safety. You're cap you've captured my heart, my dear friend. You looked at me, and I fell in love. One look my way, and I was hopelessly in love. How beautiful your love, dear, dear friend. Far more pleasing than a fine, rare wine. Your fragrance more exotic than select spices. The kisses of your lips are honey, my love. Every syllable you speak a delicacy to favor. Your clothes smell like the wild outdoors, the ozone scent of high mountains. Dear lover and friend, you're a secret garden, a private and pure fountain. Body and soul, you are paradise, a whole orchard of fruits. Ripe apricots and peaches, oranges and pears, nut trees and cinnamon, and all scented woods, mint and lavender, and all herbs aromic, a garden fountain, Sparkling and splashing, fed by high spring waters from the Lebanon mountains. The woman. Wake up, north wind. Get moving, south wind. Breathe on my garden. Fill the air with spice fragrances. Oh, let my lover enter his garden. Yes, let him eat the fine, ripe fruits.